Two wrinkled hornbills at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo are known for making their voices heard, and we ended up getting an earful in this week's Wild on Wayne. We have two wrinkled hornbills. The male, the one with all the bright colors, his name is Bayou, or he's about 10, and our female is Ayu, and she's the one with the mostly blue face, um, and she is seven. Bayou and Ayu. Yeah. I thought there's an interesting yeah, name. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Ayu means beautiful, um, and Bayou means wind. Okay. <laughs> and we quickly learned Bayou can get long-winded when it comes to greeting visitors in his cage. These guys eat mostly fruit. Whether you bring treats... <laughs> try. Oh. <laughs> ...or not. Now, we came here with the intention of feeding the birds. They wouldn't have any part of it, but they did talk to us a lot. <laughs> well, Bayou talked a lot. I guess he doesn't like us in his cage. <laughs> yeah. And that sound... In the wild, they can live up to be 40 years. ...is called cack cack. But since we're they're the captive birds, uh, we can take better care of them. Yes, cack cack. And they can live up to be 50 in captivity. The vocalizing they're doing right now, do they just make that on a regular basis or...? Um, it's mostly when something startles them. Whenever they see a vet or a carrier or like or when they know... Stranger like or, yeah, some strange person, they kind of are like, oh no! <laughs> He's really gentle, they just look intimidating. But these two, they haven't nested yet, but we've had a pair that have actually nested. And what happens is they'll get mud and just some old food and possibly some feces and she'll lay her eggs in the nest log and then he'll go ahead and seal her in so there's only like a little slit where he can stick his beak in and feed her while she sits on the eggs and then when they hatch she kind of breaks out okay. and then the babies come out. Since it was getting pretty obvious that we were wearing out our welcome, so even though the food is out there they're not coming to eat it. No, <laughs> they're just a little too freaked out by the camera, I think. <laughs> we decided to leave, but even after we went outside, Bayou had to have his final cat cat. Cat cat. Now it's time to announce the winner of our zoo trivia question. Congratulations this morning going out to Nicole Caldwell from Auburn. She correctly answered that June 30th is the day Doodlebug, the tawny frog mouth, hatched. Now here's our new question. What are the names of the zoo's wrinkled hornbills? Submit, submit your answer on the contest page of Wayne.com for a chance to win a family four-pack of zoo tickets. And this is the last day to enter your child in our video contest. The rules are posted on our website. The winner will appear with me next month in their own Wild on Wayne story.